Welcome back everyone, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Thread Up 5 pound mystery jewelry box. So I did untape the box, but I have not taken anything else out yet. So let's pull it out. Now I've never actually gotten one of these before because they've always um, sold out. I've gotten the shoe ones and I've gotten uh, the Goodwill blue boxes, but never a thread up. So let's see. So while I'm opening this, I'll just let everyone know that I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari. I have an antique booth. Oh, this is uh, taking this with me. All right, let's get this out of here. So, and I also make um, jewelry lots like this and I to sell on my eBay, um, just of stuff that I don't have time to list or sometimes I put things in there that I have trouble describing, so I'll just leave it for somebody else. <laughs> so always check those out as well. I'll leave all the links in the description box. So let's pull some stuff out and see what we got. Hopefully it's not in one big um, tangled mess because that's how the Goodwill Blue Box five pound boxes come. Let's pull this piece out because I see a $50 price tag on it, probably from somebody's antique booth. So let's see. So it says 18 inch, $50, yet there's a Made in China sticker unless that came on off of something else. <laughs> yeah, it may have came off something else because this is definitely vintage. Cute little clasp. So now this might actually be lapis. I've never actually found lapis before, but it's a blue stone with some gold flecks in it. So to me, that looks like lapis. $50 price tag, mm, I'm not so sure about that. I'll have to do some research, but I will definitely resell that. Let's look at this watch. Uh, okay. So this is kind of cool. I'm not really sure what this is. It's probably just a Lucite. And it says Parmax. Parmax. Seems to be in good condition. It's not running, so it probably just needs a battery. But we'll, I'll check that out more. And I don't really seem to do well with watches. I have a bunch listed and I think I've only sold one in my entire reselling career, which is like four years. So who knows? All right, let's get this big chunker out of here. So this looks like it's um, asymmetrical. I don't particularly like it. So like this is something that would be a candidate for my mystery lots. It's in really good shape. It's wearable and resellable. So I will put that into a lot. Okay, let's see what this purple, purple. Um, silver faux pearl maybe let's see yep these are faux um, if you take pearls and rub them together if they are gritty they are most often real and if they're smooth they are fake so this is again another item another candidate for a mystery lot it's it's good wearable sellable condition just something I'm not looking to list and resell myself so this is a cute little silver cuff, live, laugh, love. You can check it for 925. Okay, yep, it is 925 right in there. I'm not sure what FAS means, but um, it could be the maker. So um, this I might put with my scrap silver because it's really, it's bent. Um, it's really tiny, it might even be a child size. I mean, it would fit my wrist, but it's like super tiny. So I might just put that in my 925 to cash in for some money. 
And if anyone's interested in anything from this video, don't hesitate to email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com and we'll work something out. If you're within the United States, I will give you free shipping. So this is a little knot bracelet. The silver tone has definitely worn off most of it. So that goes to the side. I also make craft lots of things that maybe they, so no one can really wear, you can't really resell it, but I don't want to just throw it out because somebody could repurpose it. So that would be a craft lot. And this one too, because it's missing a stone, somebody could harvest all these stones and make something else out of it. Here's some Alex and Ani. Okay, this is all... I don't know if I'll be able to get this one out quite yet. All right, we'll have to hold on that one for now. But this one looks like a shoe. Maybe the person was a runner. Uh, it's in okay condition. But again, this is probably something I'll just put in my lot. So let's look at the ring that I just untangled. This is in nice shape. It's a little big for that finger. We'll just go there for now. It looks almost new, to be honest. It's like a swirl design. I have my magnet. I don't think it's silver, but... Oops, I have an earring stuck in there. Ha! <laughs> it's not magnetic. So maybe I will test it for silver, but we'll see. It's really pretty and I should be able to resell that. This necklace looks really fun. So let's try to get this out of here. Yep, okay. So this is like a faux tortoise shell, you know, colors tortoise colors flower oh it's broken is there one missing or is that how it's supposed to be no that's how it's supposed to be oh good it was just pushed off to the side yay <laughs> okay so this looks to be j crew yep that's j crew so i can um, this is a little messed up maybe i'll try to clean it and see if it comes out Maybe it's just dirty, I don't know, but um, I will sell it if I can clean it up. Because that's really cool. So let's look at this. This is like a little rhinestone bracelet. It does have a maker inside, so let's see. Oh nice, this is Swarovski. Awesome. I've never seen anything like this from them, but that's really pretty. Very cool, so I'll definitely sell this. Yeah, it says, what does that say? Oh, that's my dog, are you okay? <laughs> so that, oh, that's just like the patent, patent information. Cool, so in all the crystals, oh, I spoke too soon. There's one missing right at the end, but that shouldn't be too much of a big deal because you're not really gonna notice it. I'll just disclose that in the listing, that it's missing a stone. Let's look at this next one. So this looks to be more like a choker. Oh look, and it has a maker as well. And that's Swarovski as well. Now I've never seen them market it as Daniel Swarovski, um, but you know, I'm not an expert, so. Uh, the back of this is kind of yucky, so I might have to try to clean that. But otherwise, this is in nice shape. It's a choker, but I'll just show you on skin tone. That's really pretty. All right. Let's look at what this is. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little bull head, maybe, with a stone on the top. Very, like, geometric and steampunk style. I don't see a maker, but that's definitely unique. I'll definitely sell that. Okay, let's see what this bead one is. Like, how did that get in the loop of that? 
That's so weird. It's like in the other necklace. All right, I'll have to... Oh, I see, because the ring is open a little bit. Jeez. Okay, let me pause you guys for a minute and untangle this. Okay, I'm back. So here's everything that was in that knotted mess. So let's go back to this necklace. And it just looks to be um, probably glass beads. Nothing too fancy. It's one of those ones you just put over your head. There's no clasp. Um, but again, this will probably just go to a lot. This bead is actually really cool, but the cord is really misshapen and that clasp is pretty cool. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'll have to think about this one. I really do like that clasp, so we'll have to see. That's my maybe, maybe pile. So here's the other Alex and Ani. So this one is in a little bit worse shape than the other one. Maybe it just needs to be shined up a little bit, but um, apparently two friends got into an argument and the one was like, I'm donating this. <laughs> okay, moving on. So this is like one of those little um, Hamsha? Hasha? Oh my god. Don't kill me. It's in okay shape, but the chain is not. So I might just take it off the chain and maybe find a new one. Um, this one is pretty much like a going into the craft. It's missing a bunch of stones and the silver tone is like really coming off the chain. Um, here's some little rings. This says north, south, east, and west. Oh, it's a pure, pure Vita. The silver is almost, um, almost completely off of it. So that's just gonna go into a craft lot. This ring is bent. But let me just look for any marks. It's kind of pretty. It has like some, they call that something opal. Moonstone opal? I don't know. But I do see a mark in there. Let's look at, get my loop, see what I can see. Yep, so that says 925 in there. But it's bent. So, and it's like teeny tiny. Let me see. So even though it's bent, it's still coming up to only like a four and a half. I mean, that, that like barely fits on my pinky. It is a pretty ring, so maybe I'll see if my husband can, can like maybe fix that a little bit. If not, it'll have to go into my scrap silver. So these are just lonely earrings waiting for a mate. So we will put those to the side. There's some more. That was actually really pretty, so I hope the mate is there. Okay. Let's see what we got in this pile. Let's pull out the yellow one. This is really dirty. I don't know if it's dirty and chipping or just dirty, but we're gonna put that in a craft lot. Let's see what this heart is. So that's cute. And I did see a hang tag with a maker, Rachel. It almost looks like Rachel Ray. 
or maybe Rachel Roy, uh, not sure. But it's cute, and let's check out the chain. Mm, chain's in okay shape. So this should be okay to sell. Let's look at this. Let it grow. Hmm. Are they talking about the daisy or some other kind of plant? <laughs> That's pretty though. Um, yeah, I mean, it's decent shape. I'll probably just put it in a lot for somebody else. All right, let's look at what this is. This is the letter M. Oh, it does have a mark. It says 925. It does have another mark. I can't really see it. J2 Company or J End Company, 925. But that's really pretty. It would hang sideways. So I am going to find a chain for it. I have a whole bag of chains and we'll make a necklace. Okay, this is an earring. This is actually cool but it looks like it's seen better days. I found a match right here. These are glass. Pretty cool, but the gold tone on the hooks are completely gone. So that'll go in a craft lot. Hopefully somebody can reuse those. Here's a nice little hair. I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay. This is pretty. Oh, I already can tell this is J. Crew just by the clasp. Yep. Let's see if there's any missing stones. I don't see any, so that's cool. I can sell that. Very nice. It's in pretty good shape. Oh, here's the other one to this. So like this is something else that would be a candidate for my mystery lots because I don't really want to list this, but it's wearable and resellable. All right, let's look at this. So this is Brandy Melville. That's cool. And all of them are here. Except it looks like that back is different. These were really only $4. That's weird. But it's missing a stone. So I will probably, I don't know. I'm having a tag sale next weekend. So maybe I'll just put like a quarter on here. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> okay. Cause those other ones on there are fine, but to list online, I think is a little, a little weird. All right, so there's a, a earring. Here's the other one to this. That's sad that the gold tone tassels are really, really worn because I like these. So those are going to have to go into a craft lot. Oh, that's cool. I hope the other one is in here because that's really neat. We got this. Mmm. That's kind of cool. It's like a illusion. All right, we'll see if we have the meat for that one as well. This fish ring is so cool. Does it? It does have a mark. Let's look inside. Oh geez, that is so worn away. I cannot even read it. Yeah, I can't read that, but I'm going to assume it says something 925. It's a little tight. It's actually really cool. <laughs> Very cool. 
So let's see what size it is. It's about a six and a half. I'll definitely sell that. Earring, earring, earring. Here's the other one to this one. So these are cute. They're a little worn. Let's see. A post is magnetic. I'm, I'll actually ask my mom if she wants these because she always asks me to keep a lookout for small hoops. So I will ask my mom if she would like those. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, this looks like a necklace. That is really cute. Little bows. Let's bring you guys in a little bit. Little bows and rhinestones. They all seem to be there. And I guess this is the hang tag right here. Oh, it's Betsy Johnson. Nice. Very nice. I so saw definitely sell this. Here's another earring. That cross is very pretty. It looks like it could be sterling. It's not marked, but it probably is. Even the chain might be. Let's see. Yeah, I can see the 925 right there. Yep, so I'll test the, let's see if it's on the top, no. I'll test the, cr the cross for 925 silver as well. And I'll sell this. All right, what else we got here? We have a really long necklace with a teensy tiny little cross. So that'll go into a mystery lot. We have these two silver rings. Oh, it says 925 on the inside. Right in there. I mean, either I have really fat fingers or these people have really small fingers. I don't know what it is. This one, however, I do not see. 925, but that one fits there. So those are nice. Let me get you sizes. This one is an eight. This one is a seven. See, I think, I think I'm just really warm because I know my ring finger is a seven, but this does not fit. So I think my fingers are just swollen because it's so hot. So that's cool. I'll sell those. Let's look at this little anchor. How cute is this? So it's a little anchor, blue and white enamel with the, the little ship's wheel behind it. Just a little fashion necklace, but very cute. I'll definitely sell that. What's better? You guys want to come in a little bit? Probably. All right, let's take out some more goodies. Let's look at this big mama first. That's weird that it, there's no like... Okay, so this is probably leather. I just smelled it. Sorry, I don't think I'm weird, but yes, it is real. I'm trying to see. So it says bikey. B-E-I-K-E. So I'll have to look into that, but it looks like it's in really great shape. Maybe just needs, oh wait, there we go. That's cool. 
So it's not, it doesn't show unless you press the button. It's really not 705, so that's wrong. But this is cool, very unique. So now how would it go? It would go like this on your wrist. Let's see. So you would go, no, nope, it would go this way. And then all the way around like that. That's pretty cool, very hipster, steampunk. Neat. I'll sell that one. Okay, so this is anthropology, but it looks like um, it looks like that they don't match, like they're different ones, and then these match. So, like I said, with my tag sale I'm having next weekend, I'll probably just put like a quarter on these. Yep. This looks like a single earring. Let's look at this little guy. So that looks like a cow. And it is Mexican. Oh, it's, it's made in Mexico. And it is sterling. It's called Farfetch. So maybe that's the company name. Very cool. Sell that. This box is so far so good, right guys? Okay, let's see what happened here. Okay, we have a chain. This probably came off of it, but the chain is pretty gross and the silver has worn off, yeah. So we're gonna junk the chain, but we're gonna keep the charm. And here's an earring, and I believe I found this one already. Yep, it's right here. So these are nice. Little faux pearl gold tone with some rhinestones. That one's missing a back, but I can easily get another one. I have a whole baggy like this of backs. I don't see a maker, but that's okay. They should still sell. Okay. We have this cute pin, however, it is missing stones, but it is Swarovski. So if you can see it, there's the little swan. So, what do I do if it's missing two stones? I, what do you guys think I should do? Let me know in the comments. Here's this earring I found. The mate is over here. These are so sweet. Look at these. Little roses with the rhinestone. No maker, very dainty and cute. The rose is probably ceramic or porcelain. So those will get sold. I might even put those in my antique booth. So let's see what this is. So this has some pretty substantial weight to it. So it seems to have this maker mark, which I'm unfamiliar with, if anybody knows. It almost looks like the Tommy Hilfiger um, flag. It doesn't appear to be sterling, but this is, this is pretty heavy. And I don't see any missing stones. Oh wait, and there's something else right here. What is that? I don't know what this is, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> I'll have to do more research on that. Okay. Oh, here's the other earring to this. 
nice got a matching set there's that cute little one we'll put to the side this one we'll put to the side let's look at this bow mm, no missing stones I don't see a maker mark but it's very cute it's very like antiquey with the roses on there too so that's definitely sellable up here's this other earring I wonder if this is oh no I was gonna say I wonder if it's silver throwing silver wire but it's not because I can see it the finish is gone on them so we're gonna put those in the craft lot this looks like another one of those pins this is neat oh, I have it upside down that's cool I like that no maker either but I will definitely sell this one as well here's a cute little anchor bracelet magnetic closure it is pretty worn uh, well a little bit a little bit on the clasp so I'll probably just put this in a lot for somebody else this one I saw here's the mate here's the mate these might be real so let's see yeah they feel gritty to me and they're not perfectly round so these are definitely real pearls uh, this is a lever back I wonder if it's sterling I don't see a 925 anywhere but they're not magnetic so I will definitely test them and they will be for sale let's look at what this big necklace is oh wait here's the other one to this another set of lever backs lever backs who knows I don't believe, uh, maybe, hold on. No, these are not real. But that does look like a maker mark to me. Let's see, could these be Avon? Not sure, we'll have to do more research. Okay, so let's look at this chunker. This is probably dyed howlite. And you can tell sometimes in the drill hole, it'll be, you can see the stone, it's, it's white. Can't really see, but then again, I'm never good at this. So it's pretty cool though. Yeah, it's probably just a fashion piece. So that will be sellable. Here is a single earring, that one's cool, so let's hope for the mate. Do, 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 do. Come on. Okay, so this looks like a religious pendant. It says, O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recurrence to the so it says something on the bottom there let's see what that says so this is 14 karat gold plated I mean gold filled 14 karat gold filled yeah very nice and it's in great shape so definitely sellable Let's look at this. Uh, okay, we're probably gonna pass on this because the chain, the silver is almost completely off. So craft lot. Let's see what this 
ginormous pieces. Get you a little earring out of here. Okay, so let me open it up next to me because this looks like it's gonna be long. Okay, it's multi-strand. Wow. All right, well, it's a little tangled, but you can kind of get an idea. And it has a mark, RGD, it looks like. Oh, my magnet is stuck to it. The back says Graziano. Okay. So if I can untangle this and straighten it out, this will be a very nice statement piece. It seems to be five layers, five strand. So that's really cool. Let me get some water. Okay. Here's the other one to this. Very nice. Let's look at this guy. Ooh, I don't really like snakes. This is kind of gross. So this is just a fashion piece, but if I can get it on, it's pretty cool. It's a little, little worn right there on the tip of the nose, but other than that, I don't really see any other damage. So I might be able to sell this guy, these guys. <laughs> okay. This little thing is gonna go into a craft lot. That's an earring to wait for a mate, so is that. Let's see what this is. This is kind of weird, what is this? Oh, they're pins. So this is a pin and these are earrings. That's kind of cool. It's like a unicorn with a crown. Hmm. And there is a maker mark and some information on the back. So let's see. This says TK or JK New York. So I'll have to look that up as well. But those are pretty cool. Is that another ear? Oh no, that's my earring. Okay. All right, this one I saw. So this one's right here, the meat, but it's missing a stone right there. So that's a bummer. So that goes in craft lot. Let's see what this is. The finicky fox was selling this for $28. It looks like a little fairy or some sort, or dancer. I don't know. Um, it's probably sterling. Uh, I'll do more research on that. That's a little pin. I think we had the mate to this. Let me see, yep. These are really pretty, how cute. Come on. Really? All right, there we go. So those are cute. Those will probably go in my booth. Or if anybody wants them, let me know. Sellable. Let's put this earring to the side. That earring to the side. Now this looks to be Leah Sophia, okay. 
Uh, the cord is okay. I might just have to give it a little bath, but all the stones are in the pendant, so that's sellable. Let's see what this long thing is. Looks like a necklace that you can... Actually, it looks like two necklaces because, look, it has a clasp here <clears throat> and here. So that's kind of weird. Maybe they just linked them together. It is magnetic. So this is something for a mystery lot. We have this earring and this looks like a bracelet with a little stone and an A. It's cute. Oh my god, this is in one big tangle. Let's see if I can pull some things out. Here's another pin like that other one. Maybe they're like clowns or like gesture, jesters or something. Okay, yeah, it is sterling. It says right there. Very nice, a lot of sterling silver in this lot. These will go to the craft. No way, is this Tory Burch? Yes, it's the Tory Burch like Fitbit thing, isn't it? I don't know, I don't know anything about Fitbit, but I do know that that is the Tory Burch emblem. Yay, 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 yay. So I will definitely look into what that is, but I'm pretty sure it's for a Fitbit. I mean, do people even use those anymore? I don't know. But they better because I'm about to list a Tory Burch one. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, look at this. Okay. Let's see what we can get out of here. So this looks to be all one necklace. Yeah. Hold on. Please hold. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So this is one necklace and it's like a long multi-chain mystery lot. Okay, it looks like a store got rid of all their jewelry because these little UPCs are like all, all the same, the same little tags. Come on, what happened? Again, it got into, it got in the link of something else. Like, how does that even happen? It's so crazy. All right, I'm gonna have to put you guys on pause for a second while I go through this and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So this one is just, weird. I don't really know what's going on there. And the that's in really kaka shape. So that's craft lot. These are absolutely beautiful. And they are 925. So I'm hoping that this stone, a gemstone is actually something you know, it's actually something and not just um, glass. <clears throat> then we have this. It's like a multi-strand, but how am I going to show you this? Like this is kind of like tight, so it probably it probably will fall like right at the base of your neck. There's a little faux turquoise on the side here, and then long. It's a down here. Ooh, bless you. 
down here is um, a feather pendant. So that's really cool. I will definitely sell that. Ugh, I left his bell out. <laughs> we have this bell that we let him let my dog have and sometimes we'll keep it out and when he wants a treat or attention, he rings the bell. <laughs> I had it out before when I put you guys on pause to um, untangle all this and because uh, I gave him some treats and I forgot to put it away. <laughs> it's so funny. All right, so let's just do this bracelet really quick. It's so cute. It's like a little charm bracelet with flowers. I don't see a maker, but it's in really, really nice shape. Um, so I'll definitely sell that. That's super cute. All right, let me just go get that bell really quick. So these earrings were in there. They're cute, but like I said, they're just not for me. So they'll go in a mystery lot. And let's pull out some more goodies. Wow. Let's look. Let's try to get this big one out of here. This is Big Mama. Holy cow. I mean, it's in, it's in really nice shape. This is definitely like a bib, that's for sure. Statement necklace. I mean, this chain is really cool. Oh man, there's no maker, that kind of sucks. But that's really neat, I'll definitely sell that. Okay. Ay, 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 what's going on here? <laughs> There's a bird in the bag. Hold on. Okay. It's a peacock. So that's actually kind of cool. Um, it looks like there's a maker. N. I forget what that stands for. But she is a really long necklace with some faux turquoise, some feathers, this really cool circle pendant. And then off of that is a silver tone feather, some rhinestones, it's missing one. So what I'll probably do is just remove this whole strand of rhinestones. Um, the feather is actually in good condition. It's not bent or like crazy. So I'll definitely sell this. All right, let's see what this silver thing is. This is interesting. That's really pretty. So on the end, it has what looks to, to be like an Indian coin. I don't know, but that's really cool. Look at the hook. Very neat. I'll definitely sell that. It is magnetic. Very cool. So this lot is turning out very nice. I have a, a big pile to list. Oh yes, here's that other cool earring. So it looks like eyes, but um, it also looks like it could be a feather but it also looks like it was hand painted. So these are pretty cool. I'll definitely sell those. I might even just put them in my booth because this would be something that's hard to describe, but I would definitely want to sell it. Okay. Earring, here's the match to that. So these are probably J. Crew, yeah. J. Crew. They don't have backs, but that's okay. I have, like I said, a whole little baggie of backs. So I'll find them backs and sell those. We have that single. 
we have these. These are both magnetic, but we'll wait for the mate and maybe I'll just steal the backs off of them. All right, not too much left. Ooh, let's look, oh, I forgot I have this over here. <laughs> let's look at that. Come on. Okay. So this looks to be a little spike necklace. Oh, it goes this way. With rhinestones. And then I did see a hang tag. This is, oh my God, I'm, sometimes I feel like I'm blind and sometimes I feel like I can see everything. Marley. No, Marilyn Sh Sh Schiff. <laughs> I have no idea. But that's pretty cool. Let's see if all the rhinestones are here. Yeah. So that's cool. I'll sell that. Let's see what we got. Oh, here's the other earring right here. Not magnetic, so are they sterling? So the back says sterling. Usually it'll be on the post, but I don't see it, so I'll just have to test them for sterling. Let's see what this one is. Oh, here's another one. So this is a super dainty arrow. So this is another example of something I will put into a lot. Nothing wrong with it, just not my zhuzh. This one's cool. So it has little peace signs and little cabochons, cabochons. These little pretty little beads up here. And this looks like Lucky Brand. Yeah. So that's Lucky Brand. I've actually never found a Lucky Brand necklace or anything in my lots. So that's really cool. I will definitely sell that. All right, now we're on to this chunker. This is just plastic. Um, I don't really feel comfortable putting this into a, a lot, so it'll go for a craft lot. Crafting. All right, let's see what this bracelet is. I think it's just a fashion piece because the silver is wearing off of it. There's another one in black. This one's in better shape, so I'll put that into the mystery lot. And though she be but little, she is fierce. Shakespeare. Are we sure Shakespeare wrote that? Here's the other one to this. So these are nice, but again, not for me. So I'll put them into the craft lot. I mean, mystery lot. Here's another one of those gold tone with the rope. This one's in okay shape too. So that'll go into the mystery lot. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. So here's the other one to this. These are actually kind of cool. I might put these in my antique booth. I know they're not they're not old probably, but they're they got that style. All right, here's this and here's the other one right here.
we have a sun pendant. And she says a 925 as well. I think it has a maker too. Oh, it just says sunshine. No, it doesn't. It says, I have no idea. Suzanne? No, I don't know. I can't read that. I'm horrible. Like you guys can't even see that. Oh wait, maybe a little bit right there. No idea, but it's 925. We have this little bride and groom. That's cute. Probably sterling, I'll test it. I did see the mate to this right here. I'll put that into the lot. Here is a um, cross and it does say something. So it says 12 karat gold filled. So that's nice. I'll look for a nice chain for that and we'll sell it. Okay. Let me just make sure there's nothing else in the bottom here. So I have these. So here is the mate to this. Damn, it looks like we're going to have a lot of single earrings. This was the mate to the... Nope. I saw it right here. Okay. But then we have these that are all by themselves. But there's these now. So there's two things wrapped up, or at least two packages that we're going to open. And see what's inside. Wow, that is really pretty. So this is a necklace. Okay, this is, I've gotten this before. XC, I think that's Siamara something. Um, I still have it listed. I got it a couple months ago. But this one's pretty. Got some abalone maybe. Very cool. Definitely selling. All right, I'm not gonna get all that tape off, so we're just gonna get the scissors and cheat. So let's see. So this is a multi-layer, multi-strand gold tone necklace. It's pretty cool. Let's see if there's any maker. It would help if I was in frame. No, it just looks like gold tone. It's already stuck to my magnet. This will probably go into the mystery lot as well. And that does it. So these are all my lonely singles. I'll look for anything that's sterling and put it into my... See, that sucks, because that one's really pretty. Um... These I'll sell, these little rose ones. And that looks to be it. All right, guys, like I said, if you're interested in anything, please email me and we can work something out. And I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. I have two more of these boxes and a Goodwill box and another Goodwill box coming. So subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when they come out. Bye-bye.